I'm going to show you some really simple tricks to make your objects appear either opaque or translucent. Let's get into it. It doesn't matter specifically that we're talking about grapes here. You can apply these techniques to any round object. We're going to start with the opaque and then later move to the semi-transparent or translucent one. So with the opaque one, I'm dividing it up into five basic tones. You can see the object and the cast shadow. Number one will be the highlight, two, three, and four mid-tones, and five will be the darkest tone. Four is the reflective light, and you can see the direction of the light here. It's darkest about halfway through, and then the reflected light makes it slightly lighter. I'm going to paint using just one color, it's called blue-violet. I'm going to mix that with varying degrees of white. Starting out with the darkest tone, and the outside of the shadow is slightly lighter than the inside of the shadow closest to the object. It's a four right at the bottom of the object because that's reflected light. And here we have more four and just working with the midtones all the way up to the highlight, which will be number one. It's okay that it looks a little rough at this stage. We're gonna blend in the lines later on. What you just need to focus on is how much white is in the paint. Remember, this is the opaque grape, and so all of the light will be hitting the outside and staying on the outside. Okay, all the tones are in now, and I'm just gonna blend them together to create smoother transitions. I'm darkening up that terminal line. Okay, moving to the translucent grape now. And the direction of light is going to be the same, but the light goes through the object and shines a little bit on the back of the bottom of the object. So you'll see in the same uh, five-tone system, one is the highest and five is the darkest. You'll see that the second tone, two, will be at the bottom and also reflected in the shadow. I'm starting with the darkest, dropping in four. I'm going to come back in and clean these up a little bit later on. And here's the biggest difference. You see at the bottom, the light has gone through the object and is, and is shining on the bottom of, of the object. And I'm cleaning up some of the lines here. And I'm going to darken up the um, number five value and lighten the highlights just to increase the contrast a little bit. Okay, that's going to do it. I hope that was really helpful for you. So that's the difference between opaque and translucent. See you in the next one.